Today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down how I sell my sports cards for top dollar in 2024. There are plenty of different methods that I'm going to be going through. There are different cards that are best suited for different platforms and different places. So I'm going to be breaking all of that down. How you guys um, who are looking to make profit on your cards can absolutely maximize the profit and sell the cards a lot faster than it may usually take you. Um, so without further ado, we're going to hop right into the video. Um, so the first place that I really wanted to go over as a place to list your cards, first and foremost, I did want to say this video is not posted on here or here. It is, you know, of course, you want to post it on as many platforms as possible. The basic place to sell cards, the basic, um, I guess, mindset to sell cards would be you know, the more people who see your card, the higher chance you have to sell the card. Um, so you want your cards to be seen as by absolutely as many people as possible. Um, and then, of course, there's also going to be some price tactics that I'm going to be showing you guys. Um, so without further ado, we're going to hop right into the first place that I wanted to talk about. Um, every time I get a card in the mail, every time I pick up a card at a show, anytime I get a new card in that I'm looking to sell, one of the places I will upload it is on my slabs. Um, now my slabs has a 2% seller fee, um, which is a lot, lot lower than other places such as eBay. Um, and I believe it's 3% on raw cards. Um, so, and then on top of that, you have a couple percent that PayPal takes. I believe it's around 3% that PayPal or Stripe will take when you try to, um, you know, transfer your money out to your bank account. Um, so all in all, you're going to be paying roughly five to 6% in fees to sell on my slabs um, now my slabs is really good for a lot of certain cards um, you know for the higher end I would say my slabs is not you know my preferred place um, you know of course it is going through PayPal goods and services you do hold a little bit risk there with returns um, and that is one of the big downsides to my slabs um, but with a lot of lower end cards um, I do love to put them up on my slabs even the higher end I still put up on my slabs it's still always a good place to put it up a lot of the times, um, you know, one big tip that I had before I forget um, is on every single platform you're on, it is very crucial to keep your username the same. Um, now, I've had countless people on eBay, my slabs, um, find me on different places and message me on different places because I have the same exact username. Um, so people may see your card on my slabs, may see your card on eBay, and they see your username. They may look up that username on Facebook, on Instagram, um, and they will message it and look to do, you know, maybe they're in the area and they can meet you up, um, you know, locally, or maybe, you know, you have built a following and they can, you know, just send it to you directly. There's a lot of benefits to keeping your username the same. Um, so I highly, highly recommend, um, you know, to keep your username the same um, no matter where, which platform you are on. Um, now, my slabs is just a place where I list up all my cards. Um, that's pretty self explanatory. Next up, we're going to go with. Facebook. Um, now, Facebook is arguably the most important leg to the puzzle, in my personal opinion. Um, Facebook, there are plenty of groups. If you guys want groups you know, to join, I can send you all the groups I'm in. If you message me on Instagram um, at Sports Card Invest, same as my YouTube. If you message me on Instagram, I will send over all the groups. Um, but Facebook is you know, you can see how many people are active in all of these groups. Um, you know, the more private groups with a lot of big buyers have, you know, up to 6,000 members, but there are plenty of groups out there, um, you know, that have a lot, lot, lot more members that you can sell to. Um, you know, if you look at some places like NBA Hotspot, um, you know, they have up to 35,000 members. Um, and as you guys can see, everything that gets posted up, it gets a good amount of attention. If you have higher end cards, if you have any cards of players that are sought after, there are going to be a lot of people on here looking to buy your cards. Um, and a lot of them pay strong because especially groups like this that are worldwide groups like NBA Hotspot, they're people who are out in Asia, out in Europe, who do not have the access to sports card shows and a lot of access 
you know, they may not have access to as many Instagram deals or as many eBay deals, as many MySlabs deals. Um, and so a lot of these people are willing to pay a lot stronger. I've had a lot of great sales happen on these groups um, that are more worldwide. Um, and so if you look and go ahead and just all these groups that I'm a part of, if you want to join all of them, you can just message me on Instagram and you will get all the groups. Um, there are plenty of groups that have over, you know, 30,000 members. There's plenty of groups that have a very active user base um, and so many cards being posted up um, for sale and so many buyers. Um, so I highly suggest if you are not on Facebook, that is a game changer. Um, I can almost guarantee it's going to be a game changer for your selling business. Um, and so I would highly recommend if you're not on Facebook already um, to get on Facebook and join some of the groups I'm a part of or just search up basketball cards and join those groups that you can find. Um, now, Instagram kind of goes in hand in hand. Um, you know, I would just suggest building up a sports card page. I know a lot of people say I'm not an influencer. I'm not, you know, a lot of people don't want to be a quote unquote influencer. Um, and I totally get that. However, you know, influencing and, you know, just posting your cards up for sale on Instagram are two different things. I think everybody should have an Instagram page if you are, you know, interested in being in the sports card scene for the longevity. Um, I highly suggest hopping on Instagram um, and going ahead and creating a page and just starting to post your cards for sale, follow a lot of other sports card accounts, um, and you will see a lot of them will be interested potentially in your cards and be willing to buy, and then you will build a user base from there, so you do not have to rely on other places like eBay and auction houses, but you can actually have direct access to buyers and save on those fees and all that time that it takes to list up and hope that your people are seeing your posts. Um, so without further ado, we're going to hop right into another place that I enjoy posting my cards on. I always post my cards up on VeriSwap because you just do not know what offers you're going to get. Um, and on top of posting your cards up for trade, um, cards up here are for sale as well. Um, and so if you find cards on here, um, you know, and you post them up, there's a good chance that, you know, someone who is interested in your card is willing to either trade you know, with you and give a strong offer if they're looking for your card, or they can make a flat out cash offer. Um, and very swap handles the middleman and the trades, so it's super easy way to do it. Um, you know, they charge a couple percent, which I think is pretty reasonable. Um, you know, I've never really had a problem with very swap, and I think I've made a lot of great deals and a lot of great sales on very swap. Um, so it's a place that I would definitely list up your cards. It's also super easy to upload your cards because you can just type in the cert numbers, and they usually have you know pictures of your cards and all the details so you just put in your cert number and your price um, and you can list it up and see what offers come in um, so it's kind of like a no-brainer it takes a couple seconds to list it up and you have free access to more and more people looking at your cards um, now next up we're going to be talking about the auction houses I get a lot of questions about when do I know to send my card to auction? Um, you know, of course, you've got auction houses like Alt running auctions every two weeks. They have a new auction. You got places like Golden hosting bigger auctions and weekly auctions. And then you got PWCC also hosting premier auctions, um, you know, and weekly auctions. And then they have fixed price as well. Um, so there's a lot of options here. Um, and I think a lot of it really depends on the card. Um, for me personally, more modern cards, I stick with alt. I think I get pretty good percentages, um, usually like 110 to 115% of, you know, the before buyer's premium price. Um, so if you guys don't know all these cards that are, you know, you see the prices of the bids, um, there's a 20% buyer's premium attached to any bid. Um, and so when I see 115%, I mean pretty much whatever the buyer's premium is, the whole entire price that the buyer pays minus 5%, um, you know, that the auction house takes. So for me personally, for modern cards, especially a little bit higher end modern cards, I, I think the alt buying pool is pretty solid. Um, you know, for a lot of more vintage cards, I would 
personally suggest going with Golden or PWCC simply because they've been around for longer um, and uh, they've built up more of a vintage buying pool. Um, so for vintage cards or for cards with players who are more established, I would go for Golden and PWCC. Um, you know, for more modern cards, I would personally go with Alt. Um, you know, I would definitely suggest trying to get a rep, you know, a PWCC, Golden, and Alt because they can help negotiate better, you know, percentages. I would not be, you know, a lot of people when you know, these auction houses tell them you will net 95% of the sticker price. Um, you know, they do not realize that the buyer is paying a 20% buyer's premium as well. So you should be eating into that buyer's premium. I would not be selling on here if you were netting, you know, 80 to 85 percent of what the buyer is paying i would say that's not a quite good deal for you um and so i would definitely suggest getting a rep trying to negotiate better you know percentages that you can get um now on ebay there are a couple places that i do sell on ebay along with on my own account um probstein for some of the stuff um they are selling you know and letting you net up to 95 percent um you know so you're saving money selling with Probstein instead of selling on your own account. Um, and so a lot of the times I would think for higher end cards, especially Probstein or another, any consignment is a better way to handle it. On top of that, they handle all the returns. So you do not have to deal with buyers who have buyer's remorse and just want to return the card that you sold. Um, you know, you do not have to deal with that when you go the consignment route. Um, and so I would highly suggest if you're selling on eBay, choose a valid consigner um, and go ahead and send your cards to them and let them handle all the posting. It saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of hassle with returns. And on top of that, you net a higher percentage. So I just think overall, it's a better deal to go with a consignment service. Um, if you want recommendations for that you can also message me on instagram at sports card invest and i'm happy to give you the places that i personally can sign my cards um you know i don't want to put everything out there just because there's some consigners that i know maybe don't want everybody flooding them um or there's you know of course a lot of different consigners for different types of cards um so if you want to message me i can give you my personal advice um but i hope you all enjoyed this video if you enjoyed drop a like and subscribe we are so close to 50,000 subscribers so i'd really appreciate all the support and if you would like to keep up with us on a daily basis follow us on instagram at sports card invest other than that i hope you all enjoyed and i'm out peace